Now, one of the most overlooked clubs in our bag, without doubt, is our wedges. I don't know about you, but I tend to sort of flip between one and another, changing and not really understanding the reasons why I've changed. But on this occasion, I just might be changing into some wedges and with good reason. And that reason is all about feel. And at the end of the day, as they say, nothing feels like a Mizuno. So today I'm gonna to be looking at the S23 Forge wedges from Mizuno. I've got a 56 and I've got a 60. I've got them in two different finishes. One is the sort of satin chrome and the other, I don't know what they call it, to be honest with you, it's a muted copper color we'll go with but no doubt I'll put the exact information on screen for you now and I have a feeling there might be one other colorway as well to choose from but either way whether you go for this chrome or the muted copper as I'm calling it they look absolutely superb they're almost like a little bit of a cavity back wedge which is really interesting and we'll see how that aids performance from above they both look really really nice they sit really comfortable at a dress they're not overly compact but their overall shaping and profile is i really do like the look of these things but more importantly it's just that way that they sit at the ball at the address position just oozes confidence in my eye which is all important and key but what i want to know is that cavity back exists for a reason they've shifted the weight out into that toe area and now the cg location is right in the middle of this club face and in theory that helps every golfer but certainly perhaps an average golfer so we're out on the course here today at Pula golf resort in mallorca and i'm going to see how these things perform in the hands of the average golfer and you know what i've got a feeling from a looks perspective i've already fallen in love with these things right next up we're going to position at the back of this green pin at the front this is a slippy one two cameras in the green and for me this is where the mizuno sort of feel really is prevalent so what i'm going to look to do personally from this position i'd be preferring the 60 degree so let's try a few shots with that first of all and it'll be one that's going to be delicate and all about that feel and pace so let's give that one a go and see how we get on Oh, do you know what? I'm happy with all of those, and I was happy with the way I was able to execute the shot first and foremost, but it's that ability to make the little bit of a change in terms of what you're feeling in terms of responsiveness now it's easy to make that adjustment we don't always get three pops from this kind of position and you've got to get it right first time don't get me wrong but i really like the control that i've got with this 60 degree and although that didn't pop the ball off what i like to play is that one just a little bit uh, back of the stance hands forward and give a nice positive strike Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Shervo, the premium Italian golfwear and sportswear brand. By using some of the most innovative fabrics, Shervo produce clothing that is both stylish and incredibly comfortable to wear, both on and off the golf course. For more information, visit the Shervo website, and I will, of course, provide a link in the description of this video. Right, let's get back to the golf. Right, so next up, I'm just gonna pitch up probably 30 yards short of the flag. Um, just a couple of balls for this one. And what I'm gonna try is to show you the difference in the kind of, uh, the way the ball flight is from this kind of shot. So 56 and 60 degree. Let's start with the 56. So again, from where I'm playing, it's probably the preferred club out of the two in terms of loft, but we're not here to talk about my shot choice. We're here to see how these clubs perform in my hands. So this one I'm expecting to be a little low ball flight, checking in and around the fringe or perhaps just on is the idea. Well, pretty much exactly what I expected from the club. I played it the way uh, I intended. It just hit the bank a little bit 
sooner and killed it so from a personal perspective it needs to carry a little bit but again I really like what the club did in terms of my intention so again I'm going to switch up straight away into the 60 and we'll go from the same position um, difference being obviously you're expecting this ball to pop it up just that little bit higher it won't be greatly different because we're not we're 30 yards away but this one I'm expecting to carry just a little bit further uh, but it's really about seeing the change in the ball flight no change for me in terms of ball position, everything's the same. And then straight away you see the ball just pops up just what seems to be almost double in height even though it's just four degrees loft difference, leaked out a little to that right hand side but again did everything that I'd expect the club to have done. But yet again, it's that versatility of these clubs in terms of being able to lay them down behind the ball, play the shot that you want. The club sits so nice in whatever sort of position you put it in, whether you're looking to open the club face, whether you're looking to put those hands forward and close it a little bit, it always seems to sit really tight to the ground and really flush to the ground, really like that. But the overriding thing, again, is just the feel, the responsiveness back into the hands, which is something I'll probably continue to say on every shot that I play. Right, perfect position really for both wedges in terms of, I'm not exactly full shots on either, it probably is a full with the 60. I reckon we've got sort of 80 yards in. But again, I said I reckon because really this is all on the eye for me. I haven't even took a yardage, but it's all about that feel. We'll start off with the 56, which is more likely to be the kind of club that, uh, again, I'd be choosing to play from here. I think it's pretty much a full on 60 into what is a little bit of a breeze. Let's try three shots and see how we get on with the 56 first of all. Right, come on and. varying degree of success in terms of my ability uh, but more than happy with that with where they've gone but maybe more importantly more than impressed with the uh, the sort of the performance of that wedge i'm going to switch straight into the 60 where like i said i think it's pretty much a full swing um yeah 80 yards into a bit of a breeze it wouldn't be the shot i would look to play but let's give it a go and see how we get on with the 60 by comparison Right. Again, just exactly what you'd expect. That additional loft is uh, popping a ball up higher. There's nothing from this review that is going to tell you that, yeah, loft increases launch angle and ball flight so that's nothing new what you are going to hear is just how good these things feel and uh, the just how comfortable i am at address with both of them to be honest with you they sit so nice behind the ball but feel so good and uh, we'll move a bit close to the green but yeah from a feel perspective on a full shot i couldn't praise either high enough this is proper mizuno forge stuff here at its finest in my opinion Do you know what, we're going to leave things there. Wedge reviews, in my opinion, are some of the hardest to do because much like a putter, they're very much subjective. Certainly that feel element is hard to describe. And all I can say is these things are buttery soft. And if you like that kind of thing within your irons and within your wedges, then you're not going to go far wrong with these things. But it was the kind of full shot bit, which I was really interested in. I loved playing them from that sort of uh, 80 yards out that we tried with the uh, three different shots there. Um, this cavity back, as I'm calling it, or the switching of weight, whatever they've done there, Mizuno, I've always no interest in tech, apart from seeing how these things perform out on the fairways. And all I've got to say is, I played a number of shots off camera as well, and they were so, so good, you know. But when I say so, so good, obviously they don't swing for you, and we've got to realise that. But what they did was they provided a lot of confidence, and that stems from, again, that address position, which I talked about earlier, that feel position. I kind of, 
I didn't take a yardage, I didn't get a range finder to, to work out that yardage. We suggested it was around 80 yards and I love the, BL, the, the way that you can just sort of feel your way into that shot. Um, and really it's a club that the more you play, the more it becomes a kind of a go-to, something you get really confident with. And I'm hoping that will be the case because in all honesty, wedges is something that I've never really settled on over the last couple of years. I do switch around, like I said again in the intro, but everything about these wedges I really really like and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say they're gonna go into my bag they're certainly in the short term gonna go in and I'm gonna play them for a, a period of time and just see if I can develop a bit of a relationship with them because like I said for me it's the type of club that will only get better the longer you use it the more confidence you get this is a review where I would say there is no criticism whatsoever they always try and find a little bit of something that you can find to critique there's nothing in these wedges in my opinion that uh, you could criticize mizuno have done a fantastic job they do it exactly what they do best which is producing an iron which is super good in terms of feel but also performs really well and isn't a type of wedge that is only for better players i think this is very playable for a number of golfers at different levels and ability right as i said that's me done we've got plenty of content coming to you from pula resort in mallorca it's an absolute gorgeous backdrop i hope you can see that from uh, some of the video content that we put up over the next few days as ever thanks for watching this one give me your comments and feedback down below and i'll see you all tomorrow night